fierce fighting rages on between Saudi-led forces and Yemeni troops, including Al-Sarula fighters over the port city of Hudaydah. The Saudis and their allies have heavily bombed the city and its suburbs over the past few days. The Ansarullah and the Yemeni army have fiercely fought back. The fighting has displaced a large number of people. These villagers were forced to flee their homes when fighting in their area erupted between the two sides. We were at our own homes safe and sound. Then they came and started fighting around us for more than two continuous hours. We managed to flee, but some others were killed or got stuck. Many civilians have already been killed after being caught in the crossfire. The lives of hundreds of thousands are at risk. I wouldn't say a complete uh, breakdown of diplomacy. Uh, rather, they are trying to strengthen their position in any future peace talks or negotiations uh, set for the future. Because today, militarily speaking, the Saudi-led coalition has lost this um, more than three-year-old uh, three war and cannot impose um, any conditions on the Ansarullah movement. Uh, I believe through this operation and, um, and if, and this is a massive big if, uh, if they are able to uh, invade uh, Hudaydah and control it, they, would, they will strengthen their negotiating position. The UN is pushing for crisis talks over the situation in Hudaydah. All such efforts have apparently failed to bring the warring sides to the negotiating table. Western media stands accused of distorting the truth about the battle for Hodeida. Earlier, the Western mainstream media claimed Hodeida Airport, which is a strategic area, had fallen to the Saudi-led forces. Later on, Ansarullah forces spoke from the airport, and the report turned out to be false. The Western news outlets also try to depict Ansarullah as being to blame for the escalation in the Yemen war, by claiming the group is not ready for talks. The Ansarullah movement is defending the country and is and is on the defensive ever since uh, March 2015. And any talk um, outside um, of this concept, uh, context that they are responsible for the deteriorating uh, humanitarian situation is unacceptable. I mean, it is the Saudi-led coalition that has imposed a total blockade on Yemen and is responsible for the cholera outbreak and the famine across the country. Some countries and the leader of the Roman Catholic Church are calling for an end to the Yemen war, which began in 2015 and has left thousands dead ever since. Iran has warned that the offensive for Hodeida could cause a catastrophe and that the Yemen crisis has no military solution. The UN has been calling for an end to the Yemen conflict. UN human rights boss Zaid says he is deeply concerned at the Saudi and Emirati-led attacks on Hudaydah as it could leave many civilian casualties and have a disastrous impact. Such calls by the UN officials stood at the level of words and failed to translate into meaningful action to force an end to a conflict. I personally see uh, the UN as a non-trusted mediator given it continues to stand beside the U.S. and abide by the Saudi paycheck. A statement by the U.N. Uh, denouncing war crimes or calling on, wa uh, on warring parties to set arms aside is not enough. And I find it quite um, funny uh, when the U.N. expresses its, deep its deepest concerns and provides figures of those facing uh, famine without doing practically anything to solve the situation. Uh, let us not forget something. Uh, that once upon a time, Ban Ki-moon, uh, the former UN chief, he was forced to remove um, Saudi Arabia off a blacklist after just one week. And why? This is because Riyadh blackmailed him. Uh, he received threats from uh, the Al Saud uh, dynasty. Uh, so this kind of UN we are talking about, it cannot be trusted. The US is also playing a key role in the war in Yemen. The U.S. does not hide its support for the Saudi-led onslaught on Hodeida and the broader Yemen. Observers say the attack on the port city is a sign that the U.S. is allowing Saudi and Emirati allies to drive American policy decisions in Yemen. The U.S. would like the war on Yemen to continue as it's a lucrative conflict, 
Washington has already sold billions and billions of dollars worth of weapons, including banned arms, to the Saudis and the Emiratis.